Fresh Sales CRM tutorial, how to use Fresh Sales. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with using Fresh Sales CRM. Now, Freshworks is a platform that we all are familiar with, but Fresh Sales is a simple tool that can allow you in managing your sales, boosting conversions and managing leads. So let's get started with Fresh Sales. To get started, simply head on over to freshworks.com slash CRM slash sales, and then you're going to click on try it for free on the top right. Once you do that, you can sign up for a 21 day free trial using your email address. So I am going to be signing up with Google just to make this process super easy and quick. And once you complete your signup process, you will be led to the next page, which is going to be your actual CRM tool. Now, we're just going to wait for our account creation to be completed. You can always change to your email address if you have, if you don't have a Gmail account, if you are using a different type of mail account, you can use that as well. I'm just going to go ahead, proceed with Google like so. And once I do that, I'm just going to click on try it for free over here. And once we do that, we will be redirected onto our fresh sales CRM. Now, once this has been completed, you will see a toolbar on the left, a simple menu bar in your dashboard. But before that, we're just going to have to continue on and complete our sign up. So for us, we are an e-commerce company and we are using Shopify. Once I do that, I'm going to click on get started. And once I click on get started, we can proceed on to our Freshworks or Fresh Sales CRM. Now there is going to be some sample data and you will see that Fresh Sales is recommending that I connect my Shopify account to run my sales, marketing, and support directly from my CRM. This is obviously going to make it really easy for you to sync up both of your platforms together. So you can just sync that up. I'm just doing this as an example. So I'm not gonna sync this up. We're gonna work with our sample data. Now on the top right, you're gonna find your account info. Then on the top right, you're also going to find notification, a new section, mail, and then an instant creation section. Then from here on the left, you will find a simple dashboard. This dashboard has many different reports that you can open up. You can click on close report to close any active report. And then you can click on this plus icon. Once you click on this plus icon, you will be able to create some of the popular types of reports. You can also go on ahead and search for a specific type of report that you might be looking to create. Then on the left, you will have a contacts section. In your contact section, you can filter out the way that you're viewing contacts. First, you will see a tab called all contact. Then you can click on select a view and select a specific type of view. You can even click on add new view and view specific contacts with certain filters. So maybe you only want to view contacts that have the job title of CEO. So you can filter those out. Now to be able to add a contact, simply go on to all contacts over here, click on add contact on the top right, and then you can proceed with adding a contact like so. Then you can add their name and then their last name. Then you can add the account that they are related to. Now you're definitely going to have to create a account, but if you don't have, if you added the contact first and then you're adding the account, so you can leave it empty for now and then just proceed with the rest of the information. Now, Another really important thing is that if you're using any type of CRM tool, the fields that might be required by you might be different. So you might want to include more details about contacts or that you can click on customize fields on the top right. This will open up the fresh sales settings from where you can customize the fields that are being displayed in your contacts. Click on save over here. And once this has been saved, you will see your contact info in detail. This includes the stage that this contact is in, contact information, contact details, conversations, activities, related deals and accounts. Now, once you have added simple contacts, it's time to add companies. You can click on accounts on the left and start adding accounts. I'm going to click on add account and I will name a particular business. So let's say this is our Interpar. And we can add their website, the industry that they are in. Let's say they are in advertising. 
and let's say the number of employees are one to 10. Once I do that, I'm gonna click on show all fields and I'm going to add more information. We have our contact lead. I think this is enough, so I'm just gonna click on save. Then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on contact on the left in the account information for this account. Click on add contact over here and you're going to add the relevant account that is related. We can go on ahead and add the information of the person of the, you know, basic um, information of the person that is most closely dealing with this account. So whoever is their sales rep or their representative is going to be added here. Now, after that, you have a section called deals. Deals help you in monitoring and making sure that all of your contacts are interacted with. You will see a section for new, qualified, discovery, demo, then you also have negotiation, won, and then lost. Whenever a new deal is being started within your business, you can just click on add deal. Once you click on add deal, you can select a related contact. So let's say this is Allison and this will load up the different options. So I'm just gonna search for Allison Smith and then we can add the related account that might be related to this particular person. You can type in the account name then you can select the type of deal this is. So let's say this is a professional service deal. You can name this deal. So let's say this is going to be the personal finance MGT, and then we can add the deal value. So let's say if I get this deal, we're going to be earning 100K, and then I can add the deal stage. So if this is new, qualified, discovery, demo, or negotiation. Now, depending on the type of business you have, you can add your related products in to the deal. So for example, if you have deals that you're managing that are related to maybe supplying products, you can add the relevant products that are going to be discussed that are proposed to be sold to that particular business. Once you do that, click on save and a new deal will be created. Now, whenever a deal moves, instead of having to move it individually, you can just go into the deals tab and drag and drop it over here as well and move it towards the next section like so. And just like that, you can move details. Whenever a deal is added into the pipeline of lost or won, you can add the lost reason as well as the close date of that particular deal. Then on the left, you also have conversations and then analytics. Analytics include different types of reports and you can create your own customized reports with fresh sales. Simply click on new report on the top right and then choose the type of report you want to create. This can include visual charts, text, images, or just list-based reports. And that is all you need to know to get started with fresh sales. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.